In this video, we'll be installing a Q-frame sub-feed breaker on a 225 amp NQ panel board. The first step in the process is to install the mounting pan. The splice has a lance in the side of it that aligns with a hole in the rail. One of the splices will arrive pre-installed. The next step is to install the lugs. We'll install the neutral lug first. The hardware for the lugs comes in a hardware bag assembly. Inside the bag assembly is a hardware card. The hardware card contains three screws, one for each phase and one screw for the neutral. The hardware card also has the required torque for each connection. The next step is to prepare the breaker for installation. Next, we need to prepare the breaker for installation onto the mounting pan. In order to do this, we need to orient it based on the feed direction of the panel board. The panel board that we're working on today is bottom feed, so the breaker needs to be in a bottom feed orientation, and we need to use the bottom feed holes on the mounting pan. These are marked with a B, and there are four holes. And for top feed, they are marked with a T, and there are four holes for that as well. In the kit, you'll find four cables, three straight, and one with an offset. The three straight cables are used for a three-phase panel board. The offset, along with one straight, is used when you have a single-phase panel board or a two-pole breaker. We'll be using the three. These are installed by loosely placing them inside the lugs of the breaker and the panel board. Next, we'll install the screws to hold the breaker in place. There are two short and two long. The two short go into these two holes, and the two long go into these two holes. There are screw finder features in the mounting pan, so by wiggling the breaker slightly when it's in the correct position, the screws will find their holes. Next, we'll tighten the wire binding screws on the breaker and the lugs on the panel. Next, we'll torque all of our connections. We'll start with the screws that hold the lugs onto the panel board. The torque requirements for the lugs 
screws are found on the hardware card and in the instruction manual. And the torque for the wire binding screws can be found in the instruction manual. The next step will be to install the dead front mounting brackets. On a 42 circuit panel board, these mount in the location next to the mounting pan for the breaker. On other circuit counts, they mount in different holes and the dimensions for those mounting locations are found in the manual. The top of the mounting bracket has three holes. The bottom of the mounting bracket has a single hole. We'll be mounting the bottom to the rail. Next, we'll be modifying the dead front assembly to install the Cephe breaker cover. We'll be removing the line cover so that we can install the Cephe breaker cover. We'll remount the line-in cover that we just took off. 